Here is one that most people do not think about, but I just had someone tell me that they're doing, and inadvertently they were causing themselves to have high blood pressure. This person was drinking about two to three cups of coffee per day, and because they read on the internet that if you drink coffee, it'll help you lose weight. So they were drinking coffee before they went and did a workout, that consisted mainly of weightlifting. So this has bad written all over it. First of all, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go on the internet, Google the effects of caffeine on your blood pressure and your heart rate. What does it actually find? I don't think you're gonna find anywhere that it says that caffeine and coffee are actually gonna lower your blood pressure. It doesn't. Caffeine raises your blood pressure. It raises your heart rate. That is bad if you're trying to uh, lower your blood pressure, isn't it? Isn't it this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to lower our blood pressure. This person is drinking coffee, raising their heart rate artificially through a stimulant, raising their blood pressure, and then when they go to work out, what do they do? They lift weights. Lifting weights does not improve your blood pressure. Lifting weights is going to really raise your blood pressure and then you're gonna come down. Then you're gonna raise your blood pressure and come down. That is not gonna help you in the long run. In order to lower your blood pressure, you need to do cardiovascular exercise, meaning you get your heart rate up to a certain level and maintain it that way for a period of time, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever coffee and blood pressure is a bad idea, especially if you're gonna artificially raise your blood pressure before you actually lift weights. Now the way patients justify it is they say, well, I only drink it in moderation. Moderation is bullpucky. Moderation is not gonna solve problems. Moderation means we really don't know, so as long as you don't do it a lot, it seems to be okay. Let me ask you this. If you smoke cigarettes and you smoke a pack a day, that's 20 cigarettes a day, that equals 140 cigarettes per week. Now what if I said to you that cigarette smoking is okay for your blood pressure only if you do it in moderation. So instead of smoking 140 cigarettes, you only smoke two a day instead of 20. It isn't that bad, only in moderation. Bull. So if you wanna learn how to lower your blood pressure completely and naturally, there are a number of things that you can do. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be a box right here or right here with my complete guide on how to lower blood pressure. It's entirely free. You don't have to buy anything. And I'm gonna give you all the knowledge that I have. It is a long video though, because I'm giving you the complete information. So you're gonna get a pen and paper handy, take notes and get to work. But this whole idea that coffee in moderation is okay, it doesn't work. It raises your blood pressure. Lower blood pressure, enhanced heart health, protect your arteries, improve your energy, improve your bone health, help migraines, chronic pain, and depression, reduce artery stiffness, and better sleep. These are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the benefits of magnesium. The soil sucks, we don't eat enough organic vegetables, and that is why it's so hard to get enough magnesium in our diet. Now the supplements that I take are from the video sponsor, Magnesium Breakthrough, and they have a great product that has seven different types of magnesium in it, all listed right here. Now when you get all these major forms of magnesium, then your body really starts to improve and that is when the magic happens. I take two tablets at nighttime, it gives me 500 milligrams of magnesium per day and it really helps me sleep like a baby. There will be a discount code and the link for this type of magnesium down in the description. If you have specific questions in regard to blood pressure, your own health and wellness, we actually do Zoom appointments as well as telephone appointments. We do these Zoom and telephone appointments from all around the world. So you're more than welcome to call our office, schedule an actual Zoom or a telephone consultation with me. And what we're gonna do is we are going to section off a piece of our day just to speak to you and answer all your questions. So if you're interested in that, 
There's a link down below. You can get to my website and then just contact us. Now there is a fee for a Zoom or telephone consultation, so it's not free, but I can promise you this, you're gonna get your money's worth.